Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Robert L. May. Here we go, little chitlins. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Twas the day before Christmas and all through the hills, the reindeer were playing and enjoying their spills. While every so often they'd stop to call names at one little deer not allowed in their games. Ha ha, look at Rudolph. His nose is a sight. It's red as a beet, twice as big, twice as bright. While Rudolph just cried, what else could he do? He knew that the things they were saying were true. Where most reindeer's noses are brownish and tiny, poor Rudolph's was red, very large and quite shiny. In daylight it sparkled, the picture shows that. At nighttime it glowed like the eyes of a cat. Although he was lonesome, he always was good, obeying his parents as good reindeer should. That's why on this day Rudolph almost felt playful. He hoped that from Santa soon driving his sleighful of presents and candies and dollies and toys for good little animals, good girls and boys. He'd get just as much, and this is what pleased him, as the happier, handsomer reindeer who teased him. So as night and fog hid the world like a hood, he went to bed hopeful he knew he'd been good. While way, way up north on this same foggy night, old Santa was packing his sleigh for its flight. This fog, he called out, will be hard to get through. He shook his round head and his tummy shook too. Without any stars or a moon as our compass, this extra dark night is quite likely to swamp us. To keep from a smash up, we'll have to fly slow. To see where we're going, we'll have to fly low. We'll steer by the street lamps and houses tonight in order to finish before it gets light. Just think how the boys and girls' hopes would be shaken if we didn't reach them before they awaken. Come, Dasher, come, Dancer, come, Prancer and Vixen, come, Comet, come, Cupid, come, Donder and Blitzen. Be quick with your suppers, get hitched in a hurry. You too will find fog a delay and a worry. And Santa was right as he usually is. The fog was as thick as a soda's white fizz. He tangled in treetops again and again, and barely miss hitting a huge speeding plane. Just not getting lost needed all Santa's skill, with street signs and numbers more difficult still. He still made good speed with much twisting and turning, as long as the street lamps and house lights were burning. At each house, first checking what people might live there, he'd quickly pick out the right presents to give there. Oh, Santa. But lights will be out after midnight, he said, for even most parents have then gone to bed. Because it might wake them, a match was denied him. Oh my, how he wished he just one star to guide him. Through dark streets and houses old Santa did poorly. He now picked the presents more slowly, less surely. He really was worried for what would he do if folks started walking before he was through. The night was still foggy and not all not at all clear when Santa arrived at the home of the deer onto the roof with the clouds all around it he searched for the chimney and finally found it the room he came down in was blacker than ink he went for a chair but it turned out a sink the first reindeer bedroom was so very black he tripped on the rug and burst open his pack so dark that he had to move close to the bed and peek very hard at the sleeping deer's head before he could choose the right kind of toy a doll for a girl or a train for a boy but all this took time and filled Santa with gloom while feeling his way toward the next reindeer's room the door he just opened when to his surprise a soft glowing red colored light met his eyes the lamp wasn't burning the light came in instead from something that lay at the head of the bed and there lay, but wait now, what would you suppose? The glowing, you guessed it, it was Rudolph's red nose. So this room was easy, this one little light. Let Santa pick quickly the gifts that were right. How happy he was till he went out the door. The rest of the house was as black as before. So black that it made at every step a dark mystery. And then came the greatest idea in all history. 
He went back to Rudolph and started to shake him, of course very gently in order to wake him, and Rudolph could hardly believe his own eyes. You just can't imagine his joy and surprise at seeing who stood there at Paul's lengths away and told of the darkness and fog and delay, and Santa's great worry that children might waken before his complete Christmas trip had been taken. And you, he told Rudolph, may yet save the day, your bright shining nose, son, can show us the way. I need you, young fellow, to help me tonight, to lead all my dear on the rest of our flight. And Rudolph broke out into such a big grin, it almost connected his ears and his chin. He scribbled a note to his folks in a hurry, I've gone to help Santa, he wrote, do not worry. Said Santa, meet me in my sleigh on the lawn. You'd stick in the chimney and flash he was gone. So Rudolph pranced out through the door very gay and took his proud place at the head of the sleigh. Oh, Rudolph. The rest of the night, well, what would you guess? Old Santa's idea was a brilliant success. And brilliant was almost no word for the way that Rudolph directed the deer in the sleigh. In spite of the fog, they flew quickly and low and made such good use of the wonderful glow that shone out from Rudolph at each intersection that not even once did they lose their direction. And all of the houses and streets with a sign on them, the sleigh flew real low so Rudolph could shine on them to tell who lived where and just what to give whom. They'd stop by each window and peek in the room. Peek, peek. Old Santa knew always which children were good, admired their parents, and ate as they should. So Santa would pick out the gift that was right with Rudolph close by, making just enough light. It all went so fast that before it was day, the very last present was given away. The very last stocking was just filled to the top, just as the sun was preparing to pop. The sun woke the reindeer in Rudolph's hometown. They found the short message that he'd written down, then gathered outside to await his return, and were they surprised and excited to learn that Rudolph, the ugliest deer of them all, Rudolph, the red-nosed, bashful and small, the funny-faced fellow they always called names and practically never allowed in their games, was now to be envied by all fallen near. For no greater honor can come to a deer than riding with Santa and guiding his sleigh the number one job on the number one day. A jealous. The sleigh and the reindeer soon came into view, and Rudolph still led them as downward they flew. Oh my, was he proud as they came to a landing right where his handsomer playmates were standing. The same deer who used to do nothing but tease him would now have done anything only to please him. They felt even sorrier they had been bad. When Santa said, Rudolph, I've never had a deer quite so brave or so brilliant as you as fighting black fog and it staring me through. By you last night's journey was actually bossed. Without you, I'm certain we'd all have been lost. I hope you'll continue to keep us from grief on future dark trips as commander in chief, while Rudolph just blushed from his head to his toes till all of his fur was as red as his nose. The crowd clapped their paws and then started to screech, hooray for our Rudolph and we want a speech. But Rudolph, still bashful despite being a hero, was tired, his sleep on the trip totaled zero. So that's why his speech was quite short and not bright. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And that's why, whenever it's foggy and gray, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed who guides Santa's sleigh. Be listening this Christmas, but don't make a peep, cause that late at night, children should be asleep. The very first sound that you'll hear on the roof that is, if there's fog, will be Rain Rudolph's small hoof. And soon after that, if you're still as a mouse, you may hear a swish as he flies around the house and shines enough light to give Santa a view, a view in your room, and when they're all through. You may hear them call as they drive out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>